vision is Kimmy. Hi, I'm looking for uh, Camilla, please. Speaking. Hi, ma'am. This is Bruno calling from the uh, Woodfin Suites. Hi. Hi, uh, I work in reservations here, uh -huh. and I, I'm afraid I've got some bad news for you. Okay. Due to, her? due to overbooking at the hotel this weekend, uh, there's a big convention in town. Uh-huh. Uh, we'll be unable to honor your reservation. Really? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Um, is there, you have another Woodfin Suites, right? Excuse me? You have another Woodfin Suites? Yeah, but you see, that's the problem. It's standard procedure to overbook. And what, what happened was there's a, a, a huge convention in town of optometrists. Oh. And as a result, rooms are at a premium in the, in the area. Um, well, would you let me stay there if we paid regular price? Excuse me? Would you let me stay there if we paid the regular price? Well, no, you, you, no you see, I, <laughs> no, what, what happened was because you were on the discount, uh -huh. it was bumped to a regular room rate. And the people who have, were paying the regular roommate that were on the list first were then ushered in at that rate. Okay. Um, hmm. All right. Well, I guess I'll have to make reservations. Yeah, we, we've yeah. tried all the other area hotels, and there doesn't seem to any any, no one around here has any room reservations. Now, I hope that doesn't screw you up at all. Well, I'm staying at the Marriott LAX um, on Saturday night because I'm at a different convention. They were going to Disneyland on Sunday. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, but maybe we can stay there um, spent. Sunday night also. Oh, God, I hope so, yeah. because Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJR Radio. Your husband set you up. It's Dirty Friday. Okay. Camilla? <laughs> <laughs> Camilla? <laughs> Eric said to give you a call this morning. Porsche man. Cammy? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, See, hang on. <laughs> oh, Eric, you got lots of splaining to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Generation A's. Hello. Good morning, sir. I'm calling from ADM Corporation, and I'd like to ask a few uh, questions, please. Uh, no, dude, stop your spiel now. Um, I, I have a few questions. Dude, just... stop your spiel. I don't buy crap. This is this is not a spiel, sir. I just like to answer, uh, ask you a few questions, and uh, please, uh, I'd like to have you, a few you minutes a of your time. For, let me ask you a question first. Are you selling something? Yes, I'm selling okay, something. Okay. Well, you woke me up, man. Take my number off your. Computer. No, 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 sir. I mean... <laughs> wow, he just, uh, he's not going to have anything to do with you, Sully. I didn't know he'd be waking him up. That's great. <laughs> Sully, let's give him a call yeah, back. Call right. back. Okay. <laughs> there we go. Good stuff, Sully. Keep on selling them something. Sir, I've got something to sell you this morning. Hello? Sir, i got something to sell you this are morning. You why, why are you hanging up? Are something? you kidding me? Please, you shouldn't hang who, up. No, I, I want who to... is this? Give me just a few minutes. Just, just listen a few minutes. No, you, you tell me where you where are you calling from? I'm calling from ADM Com Corporation. Yeah, what city are you in? Because I'm going to come down there and kick your ass. Uh, no, you don't have to kick my ass, sir, because just listen to what I'm going to pitch uh, sell for you. Then uh, hey, Let me speak to your supervisor, you idiot. I am the supervisor, too, sir. So could you please give me just a minute? Supervise this. Just, just a minute, please. <laughs> Supervise this. Oh, this guy's beautiful. <laughs> you got to tweak him a little bit more. <laughs> Supervise this, Sully. <laughs> Oh. Hey, man, uh, I've, I've been calling you twice, three times, but you keep on hanging up for yeah, me. Yeah, you know what? Because I don't want to buy anything. I, I'm, Are you stupid? you, you got to listen first hey, before no, you say you don't okay, want to buy anything. Okay, I'll, I'll listen. I'll listen. What's the name of your company? RDM. What? RDM? RDM. Hey, you can't even speak English, man. I can, man. You know man. what the problem is? In the United States, no means no. <laughs> don't call back again, you rat bastard son of a bitch. Don't mean... <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's gone. <laughs> Let's call him back. You know what, Sully? Yeah. I may call him back as your boss. <laughs> See, I'm suing him. Let's call him back. Okay. Tell you what. You know you. Hello. Hello. Uh, he... no. Excuse me, sir. No, I don't have to abuse me. I cannot take this abuse anymore. I'm selling something. Are you kidding me? I'm, I'm selling something regarding a male hygiene. So please, please, please listen, listen to me carefully because this is a very important item for you. Okay, uh, I'll find. Where did you get my number? Uh, okay, um, I, you don't have to know where let I got your speak, number. Let me speak to your supervisor, dude. Okay, I'll put you through my, my supervisor because I, I think you're abusing me so much right now. What? I, I can't take this anymore. You talk to my supervisor. Oh, okay. oh here's my supervisor. Good morning, sir. Uh, who am I talking to? Is this Ron? Yeah. Hi, Ron. Um, 
Listen, I'm uh, I'm getting it. I know my name. Where did you get my I've number? Got you, you know, on... this guy woke me up on my only day off three times this morning. I told him no three times. Well, sir, apparently my employee is complaining that you're abusing him on the line, verbal abuse. And I just want to say if this continues, our company will be uh, inclined to take legal action against you, sir. <laughs> uh, you know what? Screw you. Money would have been much better. <laughs> Sir, this item is so good for you. You Ray, like it? Are you? This is a. It's got to be a joke. Listen, man. Ron, Ron, <laughs> Ron, Ron. Hi, it's the supervisor again. Turn up your radio, bro. It's Lamont and Tonelli calling from KSJ Radio. You're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> <laughs> your buddy Hello? said to give you a call. Ron? <laughs> yeah, just you know, and I just want to sleep in. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone said to give you a call this morning and ream you. Yeah, your buddies wanted to dick with you. I heard of you guys. You guys do this for a living? <laughs> <laughs> and we're dicking with you, baby. Oh, sweating it out over here. <laughs> Hold on the line, I'm all right? Still yeah. still we'll set you up with something. <laughs> It's a male hygiene product. Male hygiene product? Hold on the line, Ron. Yeah, what, Sully? Sully? Where did you get male hygiene product? I have product? a question for you, Sully. Trying to get at the inside of the, inside the mind of Sully's super producer. How many telemarketing companies sell male hygiene products Sully, on the phone? Sully, 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 like, you can sell Sully. anything. You can sell it. You're... Let's call this church woman now. Hello. Good morning. Is uh, Mary Ann there, please? Um, speaking. Hi, Mary Ann. I'm calling from the uh, golf course. Yes. <sighs> Mary Ann, we, we've surveyed the damage from yesterday's uh, tournament that you had out here. Damage? Yes. Uh, we've got some major problems here, and you, you're my contact number. Uh, okay. Uh, ye yesterday, when, when your group was out here, it seems that someone uh, damaged some carts. They uh, drove over a few greens. And, and there was miscellaneous acts of uh, vandalism on the course that we're going to have to charge you or your group for. Uh, are, you, are you sure that it was that it was us? I mean, oh, Mariana, there, there's no mistaking the fact that you you people had the the course all afternoon. You were the only ones allowed on the course with the 125 people you had for the tournament. Well, and the course was not like that before the tournament. I'm assured by the the greenskeeper. Well, yes, but what about could something have happened uh, perhaps overnight after? I mean, absolutely not. Break in and, and absolutely not, ma'am. The carts are all locked up. These are definite cart tracks. There are various acts of vandalism that we're just we're, we're taking a look at this, going, oh my god, what is wrong with these people? I, the damage uh, totals up to around fourteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Oh my god! How how much? Fourteen thousand three hundred and fifty dollars. Like I said, they drove on the greens. What we're going to have to do is shut down a few holes, and we can, we have to make temporary greens. We've got crews working on that as we speak. You're like animals out on that course. I did. We've had groups, you know what, we had one of the groups, our groundskeeper went out to change the hole this morning. There was a used tampon in the cup this morning. Oh my God, I can't, uh, that, I, I can guarantee We've had you a lot of was, things that, that couldn't have been. That well, that was, you, you had the last group out there. We've had a lot of things in the hole before, but that never a used tampon. I can't, I can't believe, that's, uh, now, ma'am, should I bill you or your group? And if I bill your group, you're the contact number. Well, I, I, should, I can't be, I shouldn't be responsible. For well, you're, you're our contact number. You're the one that booked the course. Well, yes, but I mean, I, I personally shouldn't be held responsible for, for, I... Ma'am, you're responsible when you sign up for the tournament. You're responsible for the people on the course. But I can't, I, I can guarantee you somebody, I, we... That couldn't have been our group that did that, that left that thing. I, I, I don't, oh my God. Well, ma'am, Marianne, you did one hell of a job of this tournament yesterday. 
You had animals on the course. And let me just say, we've got you on Dirty Friday. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. Your husband oh. set you up this morning, Marianne. Good morning, Marianne. You're on the radio right now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do you have anything to say? Oh, what a rotten thing to do. <laughs> you didn't happen to leave anything in any of the holes? Oh, no. no. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my. <laughs> Marianne. Oh. I hope that was catchy. <laughs> Marianne, are you still there? Yes. Okay, yes. you hold on the line. We got a little something for you. <laughs> <laughs> Hook, line, and sinker. Uh, <laughs> oh, that was beautiful. <laughs> Who do you want to get? We'll ream them for you on Dirty Friday. Yes. Church groups, nothing sacred. Right. Civic Center, San Francisco. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Carlos. Please. I'm speaking. Good morning, Carlos. This is uh, Principal White calling from the uh, middle school. Yeah. Calling about your son, Pablo. Is he okay? Well, yeah, we've had a bit of a problem here at the school, and uh, your, your son is okay, but we, we're, we're going to have to suspend him. What do you do? Well, it, it seems Pablo uh, brought a, um, a plastic water pistol to school, sir. A plastic water pistol? Yes, sir. And he was flashing it around, and we've, had, we, we've, uh, we've detained him in the office, and we're, we're going to have to suspend him. But you... I mean, you want to suspend my son for, for bringing a plastic water pistol to school? Yes, sir. It, um, it represents a, um, an instrument of destruction, and we will not permit and uh, we will not allow that in our school. The kids are bringing, like, real guns to school, and they're bringing, like, pipe bombs. You're going to suspend my kid for a plastic water gun? Well, hey, sir, I, had, sir, I had water guns, and I know you had water guns, and, and we turned out okay. Sir, right? we're, I know we, that was a different day and age, sir. Now, okay. Nowadays, we do not allow anything like that on the campuses. Well, you're not going to suspend my son, because if, if, if I find out by the end of the day that my son has been suspended, you're going to be hearing from my lawyer. No, you no. understand, you asshole? No, no, look, look, Carlos, there's no need to talk to me like that. Now I see where your son gets it from. No, my son is just fine, okay? And he's going to remain fine. He's going to remain in school. So don't waste any, of my, any more of my goddamn... F Friggin' time would have been fine. Oh, I thought he said free time. Don't waste any of my... <laughs> <laughs> wow. Damn free time. Oh, yeah. that's beautiful. Oh, that is beautiful. We are going to give Carlos a call back. Hello? Good morning. I'm looking for Carlos. Please. Speaking. Carlos, Mr. White calling again from middle school. Yeah. Calling about your son, Pablo. Sir, we're very concerned here at the school over your reaction to our suspension of your son. And your, your general disregard for our decision has caused us great concern here at the school. Well, um, let me explain something to you here, okay? Yeah. I, you're messing with the wrong guy. What do you right? mean I'm messing with the wrong guy? I have money. I have lawyers. If this harassment continues, I'm filing suit against you. So if my son misses one second of school, you're going to be hearing from my now, lawyers. Now, Carlos, Carlos, let me tell you something. Your son brought a gun to school. It's a water pistol. He brought a toy to school. Do you yes, sir. A freaking toy. It resembles uh, an instrument of destruction. We have very strict policy here at the school board. What I've done... With your disregard, what I've done is forwarded your name to the superintendent of these schools, and they're going to come and see you with some uh, housing authorities and some, uh, some uh, child authorities. Oh, you're pushing this out. Okay, you definitely be hearing from my lawyer, okay? You be hearing from my lawyer, and I'll tell you who you don't want to hear from. You don't want me to come down there and speak to you. I'm Carlos, you. Carlos be before you go nuts and call your lawyer, let me just tell you that your wife Maria and son Pablo... They said to give you a call this morning. It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. What? We got gotcha. you. It's Dirty Friday. Good morning. Uh, you... <laughs> Friendly guys. Yeah. <laughs> Thinks we're a couple of friendly guys. Yeah. Friendly guys. <laughs> uh, Gary, this is uh, John calling from the Delta at Arena. Yeah, yeah. In fact, I was just thinking of you guys. So we're going to be uh, getting close to getting that boat. Well, that, that's why we've got a problem here with the boats. Uh, we, uh, we had a break-in last night, and some kids vandalized a lot of the uh, boats that we have in the garages and in storage. Mm -hmm. Gary, your boat was one of them. <laughs> um, what, what are we talking? What kind of vandalism? Uh, major, major vandalism. I, your, your boat was pretty much thrashed. Yours and about ten others before the uh, police actually got here and responded to it and, and, and caught one of the vandals. Did, don't, 
didn't you guys say that you kept this storage? I mean, this is locked area that um, I mean, well, that's why I left a, it there. It's, I mean, it's a locked area. However, however, Gary, it's a locked area. However, we can't prevent something like some crazed kids getting in there and vandalizing. We do have alarms set. The police got there, but by the time the sheriff's department responded to this, some yeah. major damage had been yeah. done. Yeah, when I talked to Bill uh, last fall when I did this, my options were to, to put it on the side of my house, which I have access, or leave it there. And they said, hey, why take it all the way back into the city when you, you know, and I, I actually sold me on the whole idea. And, I, and I've, I've spent, this is a boat that I've refurbished, and I have spent hours and hours and hours, and it's not something I can just go down to the lot and pick up another one. I mean, this is something that I, there's a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in this son of a bitch. And I was I was told that I would be taken care of. Now, Gar Gary, I can, I can understand your frustration and your pain here. However, there's nothing much we really can do. Well, it is can, insured, is it not? It. You guys can, I mean, this, this is something that can be fixed, right? I mean, you guys, your insurance will cover. Well, and, no, and, sir, it, if, you read, if you read the agreement, it's covered under uh, your insurance, kind of like when you park your car at a parking lot. We're well, not responsible for for the the damage that's incurred I, on our lot. Yeah, that that's that's horseshit. I mean, I I'm I'm with you. I understand if I park my car on a lot, but I this is something that's there for a long. This is storage. This is no, I'm not Gary. My car Gary, let me. Uh, do you have, you have insurance? You have insurance? Do you not? Well, yeah, but there's no reason why I would use my. I mean, uh, uh, my first. Well, you, you should get your money back from your boat. Well. You can't get it all back. They're not going to give me my. I mean, like I said, this thing is. I've I've put too much money in it. There's no way that the book value on something like this is going to be there. But then again, you know, it's. Uh, well, Gary, Gary, first off, you can't blame us if you put too much money into your boat. You can't blame us for having for brains. Just, 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 just a second. What's he oh, doing? He's at work. What's he doing? He's going to touch someone. <laughs> he put the phone down. It sounds like <laughs> he's pissed off. I, I can't hear what they're saying. Yeah, hold my calls. <laughs> hold those calls. All right. I'm sorry. No, I, I, um, so now, are you sure it's my boat? I mean, Gary, we're absolutely positive. Yours what, is one of ten boats. I've got to contact the other owners now. What I can tell you it's is, the one that says, it's the one that says "Pastime" on the back. Well, they even vandalized the name of your boat. It says "Pussy Time" now. I mean, they How? they thoroughly trashed your boat about, by the time. You the, got G Gary. Jeez. Let me let me just say that you have a few options here. You can contact your insurance company. You can oh, wait you know, for. I, I don't we, care they, I, they caught the kid well, who, who did who, it. You can go the after kid? their payment. Uh, you can get the kid to repl replenish How your boat. This kid? He's about fourteen. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, you can mow my. <laughs> Gary, Gary, before you before you blow up here, let me just say before you get the kid to mow your friggin' lawn, let me just tell you it's Lamont Tonelli calling from oh, KSJ yeah. Radio. The guys at work wanted to get you. It's Dirty Friday. <laughs> Yes, sir. Yeah, they're, they're, right out, they're right out here, too. <laughs> <laughs> they said this. Oh, that's really funny. <laughs> yeah, we're getting a big laugh on this one. <laughs> <laughs> they, they, they said this boat is your pride and joy. Oh, my God. God. Gary, you hold on. We got a little something to float your boat, okay? Well, yeah, I'd hope, I'd hope for hell's sake. I could... <laughs> and, and we're hoping that you get past time in the water sometime soon. Not uh, pussy time. <laughs> <laughs> no, go away, Gary. He's silent. 923 Lamont Tonelli, oh, Dirty Friday. 1-800-575-KSJL. <laughs> if you want to get someone, you have come to the right place. We are cooking this morning on Dirty Friday. I've got to tell you, I love this this morning. <laughs> Help. Hello, is Joey? Uh... This, this is Joey. Jo Hi, Joe. Listen, listen, I'm calling from the uh, rockery again. Oh, you guys again? Great. No, yeah. listen. Uh... My, my listen, my lawyer's going to be calling you guys any minute. You're going to be hearing from my lawyer. So, no, uh, no look, Joe. Joe, line. listen. Before you bring the lawyers in here, I understand your plight. You've got the six tons of crushed stone in your driveway. Yeah, toxic crap that you guys put in. Well, listen. I just got off the phone with the uh, with the EPA. And what we're going to have to do with this, uh, you haven't made arrangements to, to get a truck or anything, and, and I, I hope you haven't done that yet. Well, I got the truck. I still got to get the front load or whatever. Well, here, here's load. what you have to do. You have to get a team of EPA qualified toxic removal people. What? what well, so now the truck and the front load is not good enough? No, no, no. You, you need a team of specialists to take this out of your driveway because this is highly toxic, the oh. crushed rock in the driveway. Oh, it just gets better, doesn't it? I got to get a team of... Listen, you assholes saw me this rock. You, I'm, you're talking to my lawyers. No, you no, guys no, can no, figure hold it, this hold out. It, hold it, hold it. Before, before you bring lawyers in this, we may be able to help you a bit with the, uh, the squad. Now, what we're going to have to do is completely rope off your property to make sure no one uh, is on the driveway. Listen, now, you mentioned you had kids. Don't let, don't let the kids anywhere near the driveway. 
Joey? Why, why are you asking about my kid? What do you mean, don't let him near the driveway? They were skateboarding on it all night. Skateboarding on Crest Rock? Yeah, they, they do tricks on it. They were out all night playing on it. They are skateboarding on Crest Rock Driveway. Listen, Joey. What, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Why are you asking about my kids, your, man? Your kids weren't on the Crest Rock, were they? Were they on the driveway? They were playing on the, on the Crest Driveway also. They were out there all night. Why are you asking well, about my kids? Hey, listen, if there's something wrong with my kids, I will come down and personally kick your ass. The whole company. I will come down. You don't mess with my kids. These are my kids. Joe, Joe, These listen. These are my goddamn kids, man. Well, I understand. What we're going to have to do is we'll get the squad in there and we'll take a look at everything. <sighs> jo Joey? Man, you better have those people down here fast. My kids were there all night. No, hold it, Joe. You're responsible for booking the EPA qualified team. But what I'm going to do here oh, is I'll man. probably send down I'll probably send down uh, Super Producer Sully to your, ho your home. It's Lamont Joe. Antonelli on KSJO Radio. Joe, you're on the air. It's Dirty Friday. Your wife and your family set you up for this, bro. <laughs> Joe! Joey! Oh, my God. <laughs> Joey! You know, I told my wife that you guys would never... Oh, man. <laughs> hey, jo hey, jo hey, by the Joey, way, Joey, there's nothing to worry about. Joey, don't worry. There's nothing wrong with that rock. <laughs> oh. Son of... Holy... <laughs>
second day job, Vaseline. <laughs> By the way, Vaseline's birthday today. <laughs> it's the anniversary yeah. of Vaseline today. It's a big holiday in San Francisco. Oh, kids of Vaseline right. from his prom. <laughs> Huge day. Good morning. Uh, ascent. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, I'm looking for uh, Jeff, please. Uh, Mr. McMillan isn't in. Oh, um, you know what time he'll be back? Well, no, hold it. Now, now, Mr. McMillan, Mr. McMillan, your boss, you know what time he'll be in? Um, I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but... You... Mr. McMillan, okay, now listen, can you leave a message for him, please? I'm uh... representing, I'm representing Fernando. For... For, Fernando, Fernando... Fernando the... Garcia. Yes, I am, uh, I am, uh, his legal representation, and I must talk to your boss, Mr. McMillan. Um, what kind of legal matter? Uh, the, the legal matter is, uh, I've got to talk to Mr. McMillan concerning a uh, suit that Mr. Uh, Mr. Is, uh, is planning on, on leveling against the company concerning racist and the sexist atmosphere that permeates the workplace. Uh, <clears throat> and, and who am I talking to? Uh, uh, my name is uh, Maria. Hi, Maria. How are you this morning? Fine. Hi, this is Mr. Cumstein calling from Cumstein and Cumstein. Yes. Um, you are the receptionist there, I take it? Uh, yes, I am. Okay, great. Well, maybe you can answer a few questions for me. Did you um, know, did you know Fernando? He's an ex-employee. Uh, I, I don't believe that I know Mr. Fernando. Um, um Well, he, M Fernando was stating that there was a racist and sexist atmosphere at your company. He left the company four months ago. Do you remember him? I don't remember him, but that's a load of crap. What do you mean that's a load of crap? Uh, <clears throat> about this, this racist and sexist... What did you call it? A racist and sex, sexist atmosphere that permeates the workplace. What do you mean it's a load of crap, ma'am? It's, it's a load of crap. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir, but I happen to be Mexican-American. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <She hung up. laughs> what happened there? I don't know, I think we got cut off or something. That's what it sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, wow, that was really weird. <laughs> Boy, she sounds like an able uh, receptionist, doesn't she? <laughs> now, should, should we try calling her back? I think we should call her back here. Okay. Uh, there we go. Okay. That was really strange. <laughs> there we go. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, hi, I'm looking for uh, Mr. Jeff... Please, is he in? Uh, uh, is this the receptionist, Maria? Yes, it is. Hi, Maria. Did you cut me off? This uh, is Mr. Mitch Cumstein calling again from Cumstein and Cumstein. Uh, uh, yes, Mr. Cumstein. Uh, are you busy on the switchboard today? Um, <clears throat> yes, we're, we're a bit busy, but... Okay, now listen, you, you're telling me the racist atmosphere at work that permeates that, that workplace. Well, I, I have not noticed any kind of racist atmosphere that permeates this workplace. I'm very happy here. And like I said, that I'm a Mexican-American. Mm -hmm. He used to call me Beaner all the time. Who you, hold it. Who used to call you Beaner all the time? Well... Mr. Your, your boss? Yes, but it was, it was... He was just kidding. He just kids when he calls you Beaner. Does he call everyone else Beaner? Well, he, he may, you know, throw that word around occasionally. He may throw it around occasionally. Well, thank you. That's that's very nice to know. Now, have you now as a woman, have you noticed a sexist atmosphere at work? Oh. Are you kidding? <laughs> He's just a touchy fat. All right. Well, <laughs> how'd you like that that gal representing your wow. company? Here, I'm trying to get in touch with the boss, and you get in touch with a. Uh, you end up talking to like a complete airhead receptionist. Wait, I, <laughs> was she defending the company? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> With friends like her. <laughs> Who needs enemas? I'll tell you what, the guys at work. <laughs> Next time, just give me the receptionist number. I'll talk to her. Hello. Good morning. I'm looking for uh, Jennifer. Please. Yeah, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. How are you doing? I'm calling from the uh, auto body shop. Oh, yeah. Hi. How are you? I'm doing good. I'm calling about your Acura. Oh, good. Yeah. What's up? Well, uh, Jen Jennifer, I hope you don't plan on, on driving this thing for a while. Oh, Jesus. What? Why? Well, we're working on the right-hand side of the car, and before we can do any body work whatsoever to this thing, we kind of hit a roadblock. What it's, are you it's, about? It seems the, the frame of your car is bent. Yeah. And we can't proceed with any of the repairs... 
to the body work until we fix the frame of your car. The body work of my car, just because it's the frame of my car, you can't fix the body work. Well, yeah, of my the, car? you see, the frame, the frame is is bent and it's unsafe to drive right now. So we and and, and nothing and will. How much is that going to cost? Well, to straighten the frame, probably about twenty two to twenty three hundred dollars for what? your mom. Yes. You've got to be kidding. No, ma'am. So I'm calling oh, to get like an God. okay to move ahead and, no, and move you know forward what? on this. I'm. Wait a minute. Oh. You, know, you have no idea what a nightmare car this is. I've had it for three weeks. Uh -huh. I've had engine trouble. I've had. I've spent more money on this car than it's worth. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. It's well, not the, th okay. the thing. The thing is, ma'am, we and can't. Now you're telling me that I have a dent because my boyfriend bumps into my car. Yeah. And now I have a dent on, on the side of my car that well, can't get fixed because the front twenty-two hundred dollar rim is is not working. No, 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 not not the rim, the frame, ma'am. The yes. frame, the rim. I don't know. It's all one big thing. It's all one big thing to you. Yeah, yeah, it's become all one big thing. Yeah. It's well, like a nightmare. Well, there's one big thing. We can't do the repairs until that one big thing is fixed. Well, I understand that. Now, uh, uh, now, now w would you like me to do a rim job for you? No, I do not want to do you to do a rim job for me. Mm -hmm. I'm well, sorry. What, what, I know this isn't your fault. No, it's not my no fault, ma'am. It just sucks. You I, know what? I'm just going to have my boyfriend. I'm just, it sucks. I'm going to have my boyfriend call you. I don't know anything about this. I'll just have him call you. Wow. <laughs> she knows nothing about cars. <laughs> now that is a temper. The only That's thing, beautiful. The only thing she knows for sure is she does not want a rim job. <laughs> I'll give her a rim job, that's for sure. <laughs> Hello? Good morning. I'm, I'm looking for uh, Jennifer, please. Yeah, this is Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Uh, John Scrotum calling again from the uh, body shop. Hi, John. How are you? Doing good. Hey, listen, uh, I, I know you said you're going to get your boyfriend to call us. Yeah. But... Uh, I need you to give me the final repair uh, okay on this. Uh, legally, I can't, I can't accept a word from your boyfriend. Are you kidding? No, ma'am. It's, it's your car legally. You're, I, know, but you... I feel it's best that he, you know, comes and well, then you you've know, got to come, checks this out. Then you've got to come down with him to take a look at this because... I don't want to take a look at this. This is like, you know, the rim, the... the... No, no, the frame, ma'am. The, the frame is... it the needs rim, whatever you want to call it. It's like there's a thousand things wrong with this. Well, the, the, the frame is... How bad. do I even know that this... this the, the, well, you, no, you can, you can... Wait, let me finish. Sure. How do I even know... You know that this well, no, no, frame or rim was not done by my boy was not done by my boyfriend. Well, that that's fine. You can come down with him and check it out. But he is not the one that is supposed to give me okay to go ahead with the work. Now, here's what we've got to do, and this is why it's twenty two hundred dollars for the rim, uh, for the uh, frame I don't even adjustment. Have that kind of money. What in the world would you have to do for twenty two hundred dollars? Well, with the straightening of the frame, it's it's very involved. First off, we do have to do the rim job with it, and then it looks like the hoop needs licking. Okay. Okay. Plus. I'd like you to, to we, we've got to grease my piston. Okay. All right. And it also looks like your muff is really dirty here and it needs cleaning. So all this has to do with the... With, with the frame tightening, yes. Okay. Well, okay. So once I we... I don't really what, know anything about it, so, uh, so you know, you, I have to just, if, just to trust it. If we, can, if we can get the permission yeah. to clean your muff and grease my piston, then okay. we can go ahead and do the, all the rest of this. But uh, for $2,200, you're actually getting off fairly cheap for all that work. I don't think so. But like I said, it's 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 important that that, that work is done because I, then we can't do the repairs on the right hand side of the car. Right, I understand. Mm -hmm. but I, I, well, what should we do with your car? Because I can't do the the repair work to the body I until think you should talk to my boyfriend first. And John is, and your boyfriend is John, right? Right. And he's going to call us. Yeah. Okay, but we still need permission from you because John told us to call you. What? It's Lamont and Tonelli on KSJO. It's Dirty Friday. What? You're on the radio, Jennifer. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh my God! God! Oh my God! I'm gonna kill him! Now, Je Jennifer, uh, you've had problems with your car, have you? Yes. Oh my God! <laughs> Where's he going? He's freaking out! Well, hey, Je Jennifer, don't worry. Maybe your hoop still needs some licking there, oh and you need the God. rim job. But you hold on, okay? Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. We're don't gonna forget to clean your muff. <laughs> <laughs> All part of that frame straightening. Oh, my God. Okay. Coming up on 9, Lamont Tonelli, 1-800-575-KSJL. We ream, we, we sting, we burn. That's what Dirty Friday is all about. When we called you a few years ago, right around this time of year... Oh, and, and, see, uh, when you called me and asked me about the reindeer. Exactly. <laughs> Most unsuspecting guy in the world. Hello, good morning. Good morning, guys. Hello, Sticky. It's uh, Mr. Sticky. 
Uh, good morning, uh, Mr. Kamea, uh, coming from America's Christmas Sweepstakes. America what? America's Christmas Sweepstakes. I'm calling you. You've been uh, selected from a handful of randomly selected people. Uh-huh. You qualified to uh, take a run at our grand prize for Christmas of uh, $10,000. Uh-huh. What, what, what about it? Well, we have a contest for Christmas. You could win $10,000 if you answer our trivia question correctly. What are the questions, sir? All right. Uh, we have you on the timer. Judges are ready. Okay. Okay. The first question to you, Mr. Makame, your name Santa Reindeer. Can uh, you name all Santa Reindeer? Santa Reindeer? Yeah. Um, I think he has many names. Excuse me? I think he has many names. The timer is on. You got to give me names. Okay. Uh, Rudolph, maybe? That is correct, sir. Um, Dancer? Yeah, uh, Dancer is correct, sir. Um, Prancer? Uh-huh. Uh, Baitul Muqaddas? <laughs> Excuse me, sir? Baitul Muqaddas? No, in English, uh, uh, what, what you say? I'm Tiangumi. No, no, give me an English name. Oh, um, Rova? Rova? Rova. Rova, in, incorrect. You still have chance, though, for subsidiary prize. <laughs> Maybe you don't know the names. Rova is the name. No, Rova is not the name of Santa Reindeer. Hey, I'll give you another question. Oh, okay, Finish sir. this sentence. Uh-huh. Deck the halls. What? Deck the hall. Deck the hall? <laughs> Hello? Deck the halls. Deck the horn? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> Lamont? <laughs> yes, it's Lamont. <laughs> Rover? <laughs> Rover? Sully! <laughs> Happy oh, holidays. <laughs> Rover is one of Santa's reindeers? <laughs> hey, Sully, yes. what were those two other names you threw in there? <laughs> By the what? <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> Santa's reindeer name. <laughs> <laughs> what, in Kuwaiti? <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, what, what was the other one you gave us? Pingangumi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're beautiful, Sully. <laughs> one of the all-time classics. That was good. Oh, yeah, sure it was. Four minutes before seven, Sully's going to be fisting this weekend in honor of Tanzanian Independence Day. No better way to ream a wife. Hello? Good morning. I'm uh, looking for uh, Nancy. Please. Nancy. Hi, Nancy. How you doing? This is uh, Mitch Comstein calling from the Department of County Records. Yeah. Calling in regards to your application for a marriage license. Oh, right. Yeah. Uh, hey, Nancy, we've got some bad news here. Uh, we, we can't grant this marriage license in our county. What? I don't... Why? Well, it, it, it seems we've done an investigation. It shows uh, Mr. Albert... Is that is that the groom? Yeah. Well, he, he already is on record as being married, ma'am. Wait a minute. Nancy Pelosi. Yes. Right. What? I don't... And Albert, and Albert... How can... You see, Albert is already married, according to our county records. I don't understand. Wouldn't I, mean, wouldn't I know that? Wouldn't... Well, ma'am, been... ma'am, have, have, have you talked to Albert? Do you know if he's been married before? Yeah, no, he's not married. I've, I've known him for a year and a half already. A year and a half? I mean, if somebody didn't check the records, I mean, how do they check this stuff? Well, no, you see, ma'am, ma'am, ma you see, now, uh, the application was actually, you've known him for a year and a half? The application was actually filed a year and four months ago. What? What? Wait, so what's the name on the application? Well, uh, the, the uh, Albert and, and the, uh, the bride's name was Sharon. Now, do you know, do you know a Sharon? Yeah, I know Sharon. Oh, you know her? So but you know, you know that you know his. No, his... he wasn't married to her. He, they were just living together. Maybe that's what it is. That's what it is. They were living together. Maybe because like the phone number and the phone book was the well, same. Well, no, ma'am, ma but no, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You see, we we don't check phone records. We check wedding, marriage license applications, and he applied for a license. About a year and four months ago. Oh, applied with, with for a license, but he didn't. He didn't get Well, married. no, we granted him a license. So you you know the 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 bride then. Yeah, but that was just his ex. I mean, he would he's not he well, wouldn't marry her. Then it's then it's his ex. Then it's his ex-wife. Did you not know that they were married? They weren't married. 
I know that they weren't married because he wouldn't have married her. She's older than he is. I mean, he was just biding his time with her. Uh, they can't. They can't have been married because he was dating me. Oh, he was dating you when? A year and four months ago. We met January so, '98. So, so he applied for the he applied for the marriage license while he was dating you then. Well, maybe. He's, this he is this is this is March '98. Must have been a Freudian thing. He what, must have he actually, write my name. No, a year and four months ago, ma'am. This I'm not talking your current license. I'm talking a year and four months ago. So, he. Someone has to have made a mistake. I mean, I just don't. I would have known if he was married. He's not. He has. He wasn't married. Uh, I mean, I. Should we come well, back an application, and, an application was granted a year and a half ago for a marriage license, and he has a marriage license with Sharon. So you may want to bring that up with him. Well, so he, that's definitely true? That's, yes, ma'am. But I, that, that bastard. I mean, wait, so he was dating me and while he was. While he was engaged to this woman and married to her, yes. Or married. I can't believe this. I cannot believe this. I mean, he was a, he's a nice guy. He, I mean, why would he, why would he lie? Ma'am, I don't know. We just can't grant you the license. You may have to bring that up with him. You know, he got a lot of money. And I think that's... Well, that's, she, she applied for this and without him knowing, are you telling me? I don't know, but he's got a lot of money. And I could see maybe why she would want to do that. Uh -huh. so not that I would want to, you know... I mean, ma'am, ma'am, ma 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 let me tell you something. So, so Steve, the man with a lot of money, uh, I mean, Albert, the man with a lot of money, is, is, is on a marriage license with Sharon. I cannot believe this. Well, Nancy, I'll tell you something else. He also told us to give you a call. Albert said, give Nancy a call on Dirty Friday. It's Lamont Tonelli on KSJO. You're on the air. Good morning. You're on the radio, Nancy. Nancy? What? You're on the radio. This was Albert's idea. He wanted to... Nancy? <laughs> uh -oh. Boy, she sounds like a gem. <laughs> <laughs> Judging by that... <laughs> oh, that was Judging great. Judging from the way she talks, she might know a lot about gems, too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was beautiful.